All right, y'all, prize picks, man. Welcome back. Um, wow. Um, I, I don't know who been going. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just uh, family time, and um, I just passed my uh, life accident health exam to be a financial advisor. So, um, you know, still got time to celebrate that with my family and stuff. Still got to do that. And, um, you know, it's just a lot I got to do after that and the new job coming up. So, but thank you guys for being patient, man. I'll make up for it, man. We're going to be dropping videos, man. So um, the first play right now for, uh, is Jalen Williams for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, he's been playing very well. Young guy, man, be balling. So um, I like him over the points, rebounds, and assists, though, at 19.5. Um, that would go over him against Charlotte, um, not the greatest de defensive team. So let's go to the other side of that game. Um, LaMelo Ball. Uh, I think he'd be the best player on the floor. Well, it's got SGA, too, but... One of the, well, the best players on Charlotte for sure. Lamelo, I like all his, his props. It's cool, but the best one is the fantasy score of 44.5. Um, you're not going to see him get a whole bunch of turnovers. He hit threes and get steals, assists, sometimes blocks, rebounds, points. So that's two right there. Um, hold on. Um, third play. Let's go another PR. Let's go Jalen Green, another young player. I think he's 19 or 20. Jalen Green, um, young guy, baller again, 29.5 points, rebounds, and assists over 29.5. Uh, um, the difference between this and like Fanduel, like Fanduel, like you played a single game, he like 13,000 something, and it's like you might not spin up for him like that. But on Prize Picks, it's just straight up over under. Like it's just you versus the bet, you know, not you versus a whole bunch of people. But um, I play both though. Tim Hardaway is the next one. Over the fantasy score on the other side of that game. Um, I know he don't do much, but um, 25.5 fantasy score. Um, he hit threes, he can score, and this Houston defense is bad. So then uh, the next play, Paul George. Um, it's not what you think. It's probably, it could be a, a play that y'all might not have thought about, but uh, one, 2.5 three pointers made. Um, they play in Boston. Um, I'm going to um, research and see if Kawhi is out while I'm still going. So that's Paul Drover, 2.5. And then Luca. Luca Dodgers over uh, nine assists, man. Um, I know it's good to go over the points, but he got 99. He had uh, 33 points. I don't know why I just said that. Um, he had 10, 9, 10, 10, and 7. So. Let me look one more thing, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's see if uh, it's Kawhi's out. Um, full roster. Cause I um I don't think he's gonna you know he's gonna take more shots obviously with Kawhi out, but actually Kawhi is playing. It says so nothing. But uh, he played 34 minutes last game. But I still like Paul George over 2.5. I would really liked it if he didn't play. But here we go. LaMelo over 44.5 fantasy score. Jalen Green over 19.5 uh, PRA. Jalen Green over 29.5 PRA. Tim Hardaway over 25.5 fantasy score. Paul George over 2.5 threes. And then Luke over nine assists. So out of all these, you got two young players, uh, a savvy veteran like uh, Tim Hardaway. That's a great role player. And then you got three all-stars, LaMelo Ball, Paul George, and Luka. So all-star to say the least for Luka and for Paul George. They're really superstars at this point. But uh, that's it, man. If you haven't signed up, sign up for use the promo code JDS, J like John D like D like Sports. I put the link in the description. Um, it is like 2.54 Eastern Standard Time, so we got about four hours and five minutes left to the main, you know, to the game start or whatever. So thank you guys for watching, man. I apologize again for missing those days, but we'll be back to it, man. Peace.